Hey guys, welcome to Keto with Lee, your low carb lifestyle channel. I am your host, Sonia Lee, and today we are making cinnamon spritz cookies. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted when I post a new recipe or when I go live. Now please visit my website for the full recipe along with the macros, and that's www ketowithlee.us now before we jump into this video please support this channel by smashing the heck out of that like button sharing with five people you know and if you're interested get you some gear I have motivational merchandise on my online store and the link will be in the description below now let me show you how I keto all right so let's get started here we have our eggs and we're gonna beat them now remember i'm using half of the recipe for this video so don't think i'm deceiving you we're gonna have them beaten and then we're gonna set them aside next we're gonna take our butter which is three six and i like to melt them excuse me melt them in the microwave at 30 second intervals blah, blah, blah. and then i just stir it just to make sure that all the butter is melted and then we're gonna add our swerve or a ripper ball or your favorite sugar substitute and just mix it in there. I like to do this method because it really helps with that cooling effect. It eliminates it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think about that because the cooling effect will be there for very, very, very little, promise. All right, so once that's in there and I like to mix it well, we are going to the almond flour, three and a half cups. Now for the lumps, I like to whisk it away. You can also use your sifter, but uh, I prefer this one just because I feel like it's, it's quicker. So once all the lumps are whisked away, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, people, but once it is semi-decent, then we're going to move on to the next step. Here we have half a teaspoon of baking powder. Then we have one tablespoon of ground cinnamon. You could also use, instead of the cinnamon, nutmeg or allspice. Yum, yummy. And then we're gonna mix it really well until it's well combined. Mix it really well until it's well combined, yay. <laughs> And this bowl is kind of deep, so that's why I keep mixing it. But anyways, for the full recipe, guys, please make sure that you visit my website. I also include the macros. And that's how it looks. See? That's what you want. Now what we're going to do. We're going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. Ta-da! This is the butter and the sugar mixture. Now always use your favorite sugar substitute. Just remember to adjust the macros. And then, this is the almond, and uh, one teaspoon almond extract. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. It happens a lot, I think. And then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And, this, oh, wait a minute, the egg. Don't forget the eggs. Eggs in Spanish is huevos. Don't forget the huevos. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and mix this bad boy up until it's well combined. You don't wanna do it too much, but you do wanna do it to the point where everything is mixed appropriate. Now, if you notice, the mixture is kind of wet. So the biggest tip I can give you is to allow it to sit for 10 minutes because it's gonna make it a little harder into more of a dough like. And now we make some balls. But see the dough? It's a lot harder, see that? <laughs> and now I'm gonna take one teaspoon at a time, heaping teaspoon, and I'm gonna roll them into some balls. And as you can see, that's, that's how it looks. And what you want to do is just spread them out to finger lengths or uh, two inches apart. 
because they do spread out pretty good. And then what you can do, this, this batch is actually a pretty big batch and you're gonna have a lot of dough left over. So what's good about that is that you can freeze it for another batch on another day. After this part, we're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Always check at midpoint at 325 degrees. I'm gonna freeze that, don't throw it out. You don't need it out either. <laughs> And then, before you put it in the oven, just remember to give it a little, uh, smush it down a little bit with your fingers, just like here. Once they come out of the oven, let them sit for 10 minutes to form into a cookie. And then you have your cookies. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is How I Keto.